When you watch the Cotton Bowl, you probably think all the behind the scenes work happens the day of the game. But in reality, you're going to be looking at almost a year's worth of preparation. We talked to Chief Marketing Officer Michael Conradi to see what it takes to put on a bowl game. I have been working for the Goodyear Cotton Bowl since 2002, so coming up on my 15th Cotton Bowl game. That's how we count them. We count them by Cotton Bowls, not by years. All right. Hey, David. Hey. How you doing? Good. Yeah. So as the Chief Marketing Officer of the Goodyear Cotton Bowl, I get to straddle the fence between marketing and communications. So on the marketing side, I get to work with our corporate partners. Goodyear is our title sponsor, AT&T, Dr. Pepper. And then on the other side, I get to do communications, work closely with ESPN, who's our television partner, and all the media that are coming in to cover the game. Yes. Out to the whole. Those tickets are in there. Glass yes. cactus. You're yep. Glass. Have you been to that before? No. <laughs> I'm down in a holding room on two, so uh, prepping for this. Uh, I mean, prepping for this tire oh, sculpture on veil. We're a small staff. There's only ten of us, but we we work hard and, and pull it all together. And we have great volunteers, great great group of uh, folks that help us out to make it come to reality. Michael and Charlie, you know, operate together very well. Uh, there are different segments of what they do. Michael, obviously involved with Goodyear and the corporate sponsors, a great deal. And in addition to handling media requests and everything, and Char Charlie Fiss is, is kind of running the day-to-day -day stuff. We'd like to press conferences today and, and handling all the email requests and things like that. So they, they make a very good team. I mean, Western Michigan, they are bright-eyed. This, this is only, I think, their seventh bowl game in the history of their football program. And Wisconsin's never played in the Cotton Bowl before, and so it's really fun as a staff member to be able to share the Cotton Bowl experience with new people, right? Keyshawn, this is for good year. Right now, I'm just looking at my talking points for this little uh, event here in T minus 20 minutes. So, we'll kick it off with Michael. Michael will thank everyone for being there and kind of start the program. He will then say a few words about the partnership with Goodyear and the Cotton Bowl. Um, and then introduce Seth. Oh, well, Michael is fantastic. He really is one of the kindest, um, most responsible people I've ever met. He doesn't get flustered. Um, everyone else can be flustered and stressed out, and oh, he's no. just a the calming yeah, no, presence. Not, so, um, like I said, probably one of the most um, incredible people I've ever worked with. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you talk to Charlie downstairs ever so briefly. Okay. Michael is a great person to work with. It is very obvious that he's a family man. He is an Aggie and he loves what he's doing in every aspect of it. Anytime I call him and I say, Michael, do you have a few minutes? He never says no. You know, our goal is to ha make sure everybody has the best time possible, right? So, you know, even though we have two teams this year that, that uh, the locals necessarily haven't, uh, don't know a lot about, we want everybody to come out and support the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic and make this the best event for North Texas that it has been for 81 years.